Now this year's making tracks two at the cathedral is basically from around Rugby, which is from uh, Kilsby Tunnel to here, which is Clifton Road Junction. Um, we must have been mad. It was just, after last year, what we we liked was the movement. And so I know this location because I spent most of the 50s and 60s spotting under the Great Central Bridge. So it always fascinated me as a kid because of the train movement. So we thought we'd do it in double O. Well, making tracks one was a compromise because we started a year before lockdown and it was originally going to be a tribute to Thomas Bassey Bressing. And then I realised that what the Dean wanted wouldn't work in, in the space of a cathedral. So we did the Thomas Brassy tribute, but on a different scale. But then when we let the public in, what we saw was, you know, it's a train set. And it's all about making it move and making it exciting. The more that ran, the faster it ran. I mean, everything was limited to scale speed, but we kept putting trains up. So as long as the signal was on green, there was another train behind it. So rather than sort of say, well, there's three minutes between the train, we didn't care, we just push. Which the Pendolinos um, did 56 real miles. Well, the top feature was always going to be this little section here. This is what I built it for, really. The Bardock's is an excuse to get these, these bridges in because these fabulous little northwestern lattice bridges this is the old Market Harbour line, this is the Northampton line. As a kid, they fascinated me. And, and so it was like, that's what I wanted to, to, to model. But to get to that, you've got to have a 30 foot, you know, incline. What's funny about it is, it was a worry at the beginning, because I'm thinking, well, the layout's basically an incline. But then that's what the layouts are, they are, really one feature. I kept Townsend bridging, which came out in 63. When they electrified this, they took that out. I kept that in deliberately because they, it's a feature that breaks up the layout. So we've got, obviously, Clifton Road, um, but I kept that in so that there is a little bit more break of it. Because if you remember last year, we have three tunnels. So you can hide lots of stuff in tunnels. And it also saves you a lot of work so this year we've got 67 feet of actual modelling, you know. We didn't have that nowhere else. We probably had 55 feet of actual modelling last year. So the, the task is enormous this year. Anybody's watching this that thinks about flyovers, don't. <laughs> don't, because I tell you why, and I'm not being funny, you need a hell of a lot of distance to get a train over another train. And if you go too steep, then it, it looks silly and it doesn't work. So the challenge was making this viaduct look right. And if you, do, you can see it's a big structure and it was a lot of work. When we'd made it, it looked fantastic and we knew it would work. But there's that, that you know, there's one point when we were putting it in, it looked like a bloody ski jump. You know, I thought I'd better be eagle, you know. And we'd learned from day one on the other one, it's about movement. So you've got the up fast, you've got you know Pendolino shooting out here, shooting up there, and you've got the big freights going over the top gently, you know, because we're gonna run some at 50, 50 boxes, you know, so effectively they'll be nearly a mile long, you know, with two 90s on the front. And also you you can see trains under the arches, you know, around the back. So, you know, it's you can't see everything at once. What we wanted to do this year, especially, was get the kids involved. Because I wanted to give tablets to the kids and let them run it. So to do that, you've got to then think of technology through. So we've got a big display board, which is exactly like a real signal box, that the, the, the people can actually follow their train going around. It's at Chester Cathedral uh, from the 18th of July till September the 3rd, which is a school holiday, really. We open at 9.30 uh, and we close at 5 o'clock. Um, so, you know, please bob up and enjoy our model railway. And if you've got a DCC loco, 
And if you speak nicely to someone, you might even let them run it for you. <laughs>